Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of The Set List of Life with the current bandmates of Dolly for Sue. Tonight we have with us Aaron on guitar. Hello, hello. Kirsten on the keyboard. Hello. And I'm Leslie, your vocalist for this evening. Christine is on a college odyssey. She is. Yeah. yeah. So an she odyssey. won't be an odyssey. That is. <laughs> Come makes on. it sound Sounds more fun. dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> So she's not here tonight. Wah, wah, wah. Mm, oh, oh um, where's your button? Um, uh, I don't like yeah. yeah, right, you, okay. Dude. Right. <laughs> All right, there. You a double wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, it's a double wah, wah. <laughs> because that's how Seriously, sad we are. That's, that's, how, how, that's how much we miss. That's how much we miss Christine. <laughs> double wah, wah. A double wah, wah. So I picked a song for tonight. Okay. Uh, she Blinded Me with Science by Thomas Dolby. Oh, da 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 Do you remember that from the 80s? No. She Blinded Me with Science. She Blinded Me with Science. You don't remember that? For, I'm, I'm, maybe. I, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'd have to hear it. Really? Ooh. <laughs> She's trying. Very 80s. It might have been when you, um, you might be a little young for that one. You might be a little young. We're showing our age gap. Um, Let's see. I actually brought it up because I had to look up with, I had to look up. Was it on the radio? It was. It was. And everything was on the radio. It was that same. Um, like synthy, like, um, yeah, very synthy, oh, like yep, kind of Howard's Let's Jonesy. See if I can get it up. No, no? really? No. Nope. Wow, that's like early eighties. She that's blinded very early. Like she blinded yes. me. Eighty-one. Yeah, that's very. That's very early. So you might have just very, been a youngster and yeah. Yeah. not aware. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I, I mean, remember that song well. Maybe. I mean, I was I was very into music as a as a young, 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 young kid, but, but not I don't that. recognize that. Well, you were missing like out along the, like safety dance, all those. It was that yeah, same that sort kinda, of synth pop kind of. Yeah, kind of very very heavy. Synth. I'm not sure Thomas Dolby had another hit. I don't well, know I'm just, about I'm, Thomas. I'm Dolby honestly trying that. to think of like the station that I would have heard it on as a child. Oh, definitely. And, yeah, it would have been a pop station. And definitely. I don't. I don't know that I listened. I don't know that we had a I pop think, station. I don't think they did have a pop station. We oh had yeah, quick rock. you had Froggy ninety eight, well, the you, country even station. Before, yeah, and you had the rock and roll station. Quick rock, yeah. That's it. You didn't really have a pop station. It's no, true. We had B one hundred and three, but that didn't come that until was later. later. Yeah, it was really quick rock. That was the one that everybody listened to, and I remember growing up with like Steely Dan and whatnot like that. Yeah, no, this was this yeah, was no, definitely this is, 80 synth. Mm, like, mm. yeah, like yeah. a like a whoa. Well, well, like a Howard Jones kind of, and even like sound. the early eighties was was like even if it was Papa's like uh, what was that Tarzan? Ooh, right, right. Ooh, oh yeah, it would have been, it it would have been those something lines. Like yeah, 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 something so, along yeah. those lines. I mean, I probably was in the rotation, but probably not you're one that like, I was like, eh, I'm not digging that. Interesting. Oh well, you're missing. Out. You've got to listen to the whole thing later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're gonna love it. <laughs> so we don't get sued for playing the whole thing, <laughs> right? We're love we're you promoting guys. you, Thomas Dolby. That's right, Thomas, Thomas Dolby. Dolby. Don't be sad. Yeah. We love you. We love Apparently. you and people well, should Aaron. listen to you more. <laughs> Aaron doesn't love him. Well, Aaron would if but he, he will. Just listen. Listen he will. To him. I'll keep an he open will mind. Love him. Keep an, listen to a little Thomas Dolby and it'll I'm make not you saying feel I feel so happy. I'm not saying I love him, but there's there's it's catchy. A, a reason why I picked that song. Okay. Is it science fair? So I have some questions about science. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, we're going deep. <laughs> okay, the, okay. Tonight is going to be an interesting I don't know if I'm prepared one. for this. <laughs> that have been banging around my head all day. See, so because everybody's- Questions about science? Well, here's the thing. Every, Wait. She blinded me. Everybody's, what everybody's gone now, so no one can answer my inane questions during the day, except the dogs, and they don't have any good answers. Oh, okay. So- There's this crazy thing the called chat GPT that I should show or, you. Or you know I put my phone down and I can't find it for hours. <laughs> I cannot find it for hours. And then I have to type and I have to put on my glasses. No, no. I need to shout out things and people need to answer. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Okay. 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 All right. Good. Science we're questions. In. Yay. We're in. Oh, wait. Love science. We have. We have a science button? No, we have the. No. Correct. Yes. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Of course, what if none of us know yes. if it's wrong? I know. <laughs> we <laughs> that, that would making be making stuff problem. up. So, yeah, we're, we're probably kind of. I don't know what this button is. We don't know. No, no, 
Well, no, let's press it. Press it. It's, 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 it's labeled. It. Shall we? Question mark. Shall we? Oh, well, shall we? Press it. I think shall we shall. We? we shall. I'm intrigued. Press it. Shall we play? A oh, game? it's that one. Hey, well, that's a little AI, a there little science. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's very science. Okay. Shall we play a game? Oh, and I did bring a game just in case we wanted to play oh, a game. Oh, okay. okay. All right, wow. So we have things <laughs> coming. This is stacked. A little- <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is- buckle up. <laughs> a little intellectual <laughs> conversation ride. followed by a bit of fun. <laughs> this is as prepared as we get. <laughs> uh, might I wow. mention I may have brought a game. <laughs> okay, so this is the question that was bouncing around my head today that I couldn't ask anybody for an okay. answer. Right. So I, I am, I'm continuing on my, um, my heavy eating. I don't know why I'm just really oh. hungry. I've been okay. very hungry Hi- for about a week. I don't Re- know, but I've been coming. like just scarfing food left and right. You need to eat more protein. So then I was thinking, okay, why hasn't, why haven't tapeworms taken off as a diet thing? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I get it. Beyond all that, seriously, like, why have why they not? Haven't, like, okay, because seriously, like, because they are controllable. They're they are very controllable. There are. They you are. can. There's medicine. Like you, it's easy to take. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you eat their eggs, right? It's I, easy to get rid of them. They just take. There's a. There's a so pill you, you can take to get rid of it. With tapeworms, just to lose, then... you know, a quick five pounds. Mm. <laughs> I mean, people cut their faces off. People do all kinds of crazy to stuff. To look younger, they inject things in their bodies. This they put rat poison in their face. Mm-hmm. This is true. Why hasn't Why the tapeworm taken you know, off as a diet That makes it sound pretty reasonable when you <laughs> think about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if this is true, but I'd heard like years ago that Bette Miller got really skinny and then she found out she had a tapeworm. See? I don't know if it was true. It could be, I'm just spreading rumors here. But that was okay. a long time ago. Maybe we can that. get her to like, you yeah. know. But Midler, if you're listening, seems is it like true? you're slowly. I'm slowly <laughs> dipping. Yeah, she's. <laughs> you dip. We dip. I dip. I don't know why I'm dipping. She. Maybe the microphone's like stop no, talking into me. <laughs> 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 Did you really <laughs> just <laughs> say tapeworms as a diet aid? <laughs> right. I'm just gonna. This microphone okay. is okay. just. So no one has an answer for me. Well. Well. Why isn't? Um, I mean, I'm probably sure. just be. Because it's gross. Of, well, is it? People again, do more, people again, do gross. Again, there, there's some gross things, things all the time. Things, but yeah. I got a fish pedicure once. Yeah, Just see, saying, you yeah. had fish uh, nibble at your fish feet. Fish nibble my feet. So I'm really not one to talk. I mean, I'm sure it causes discomfort. I know it gives you diarrhea and stuff. I mean, it's probably not fun, but like, yeah. For a short Let's period say, of time. Don't do it. Like, <laughs> no, I don't get it. There's nothing wrong with your eating. Yeah, yeah, well, let me know thing. how that goes. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't look it up, but I don't think you can just where order you, tapeworms. I was just going to say, where do you get tapeworms where, from? Yeah, I don't, someone's got to have them. Maybe, well, maybe animals, when I- Animals, like maybe when dogs, I, horses. Yeah. Maybe when I do my- oh, um, this is weird. My beaver juice farm, I can have a tapeworm <laughs> farm too. Yeah. There you go. Beaver juice and tapeworms. Beaver juice and tapeworms. I won't have it all. It'll be like a weight loss camp. Looking at the logo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Sounds> interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sure hmm. that'll really take off. Hmm. Well, that's one to think that, about for a little bit. Sure. I'm going to. Would you guys have any anything that. <gasps> what? Nothing. <laughs> you <laughs> can't, can't do that. Excited. No, 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 no. I'll he, explain he later. He did the hand gestures. He was he like. Did, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? It was no. like an epiphany. It was yeah. like a, no, stuff pops into my head and then I- Okay, don't happens. forget it. Then he's like, oh God, I shouldn't I say that. No, I won't. Okay, okay, but have you, okay, back on the science thing. Yeah. We'll get past the tapeworm okay. thing. Okay. But back on the science, have you seen the drone bike? No, what's that? I thought Aaron might've seen the drone bike. I didn't know. Jet one? No, it's called something else. Uh, I couldn't tell you what it's called, but it's it's not called jet one. But it's like, it's basically the four corner drone, mm-hmm. like that people have like the little ones of, but it's, you know, a little bit bigger than this table mm-hmm. that we're sitting at, which is probably what, three by two. It's very small. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big table. Yeah. We're very cozy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ridiculously small table. Like if I had a tapeworm right now, both these guys would have a tapeworm. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's Sharing how, that's the a, tapeworm. That's so close That's we the are. next album. Sharing the tapeworm. <laughs> Getting skinny, sharing the tapeworm. <laughs> that sounds like a rock opera to me. 
You know, yeah, that yeah. one's good. That one's more, you know, Pink yeah. Floydish. I like, I like there's where this There's a story is there. There's a, that's, that's that's definitely, definitely, oh sharing the tapeworm is definitely a rock opera. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, it's very cool. It's like one of those little four corner drones, but it has a saddle and, and handlebars and you, do you ride it? Like a cross like, rocket. Like a, yeah. Really? Like a, like a sport bike. And it, so that probably just looks like one of those head cams, right? Like, I mean, what, why would that look if it's not in the air? Um, it's just on the front of the bike. No, no, no. It's, it's the, the whole, like the whole thing is a bike. Like you, it, you turn it on and it goes straight up in the air, like a drone. Like and a drone. You, oh, the whole bike. Oh, I the thought you were like, thing. I thought you were like riding a bike with a drone on it. Like I was like, what? No, no, no. no, no. You're okay. riding the drone. Yeah, it's like flying. a flying bike. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, but I think that's going to catch on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're already but, in mass production. Like, yes, but what I'm saying the is- The drone bike? Yes. But Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Absolutely. I think that'll catch on, though. Much more so. What are those things that, that you can do the tours in D.C. that are like a hoverboard, but it has a, a handle that you- Segway? Segway. Oh, yeah, those you are know, fun. Like, yeah, but they never really caught on. Like, no one owns a Segway. No, but but you They're do them on tours. It's a touristy thing. I've done them as, but I've done them in like Pittsburgh a, as a tourist. Yeah, it's but it's not like a personal, like, you don't have your, but pe people don't go to work on, on a seg Segway. You know, the, the guy that invented the Segway died on a Segway, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. same thing with those hoverboards. So, we all hmm. bought them when they came out, and everybody- broke something and now it sits now, collecting right. dust in a corner. I, I want one of those one wheels. Have you seen the one wheels? Oh, the, the one, one wheels are kind of cool. Oh, is that so the like the, cool. yeah. It's just oh, a wheel. Yeah. And, it's got the pedal and, the, and the guys wearing the little helmet. There's one, there's a guy that comes to the playground where I pick up my kids every day and we, after school, I pick up the kids and they want to always play at the playground and we usually stay there for an hour every day. And they play in the playground. This one guy always like cruises around in the playground fields on his one wheel waiting right, for right, his right. kids. And I'm like, dude, that looks so <laughs> fun, man. <laughs> like I would totally wait for my kids riding one of those around. <laughs> Ask Santa. Yeah. But yeah. no, but so, but here's the thing though. Those hoverboards and and even the Segway and the one wheel thing, you have to have balance. You have to have some core strength to actually make those work without injuring yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking the drone bike is not going to be, that's not going to be the it's case. It's just going to start flying. It's just going to be. You yeah. should really oh, yeah, wear a helmet. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's why I think it's going to take off because. <laughs> I so, did there. so everybody invest take in the off. drone bike. Take off. Well, <laughs> take off. Yeah. Take off. Take off you hosers. Take off. Take um, off hosers. But yeah, no, absolutely. I, I truly believe that the future and not 20 years from now, but more like 50 to a hundred years from now, there will be flying cars everywhere. And I don't know if they're going to be based off of drone technology or not, Right. but that's the beginning of it. Right. I think that, because again, they're already in mass production. They already had, the only problem that they're having right now is A, if you lose a propeller. That would be bad. Yeah, that would be bad. Oh. And they have to make sure that the propellers are encaged because those are things, those things are spinning so fast. That oh they'll, yeah. They'll Cut your finger off. The, yeah. More than a finger. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, okay. they'll kill you. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. okay. They'll okay. dismember you. Okay. So they have to be able to enclose that, but at the same time, letting enough air to be able to pass through like a fan type of thing, but they have to make sure that they're enclosed and that somehow there has to be a fail safe. So you don't, if you lose that one rudder or whatever it is, mm -hmm that there's some way to safely land. Parachute button. Maybe. Parachute button, yeah. The, the ejector button. The ejector seat. The ejector it's going to be the equivalent of a flat tire, but what do you do? Right. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. But if you look at them, like I've seen, watched videos specifically where this one guy takes off from his house and he goes to his work, which is a couple miles away. Usually it takes 20, 25 minutes. He just flies over the mountains and over neighbors' houses, over like trees and everything. And he's there in like five minutes. Oh, it's oh. so cool. Oh, I need one of those. That will see. Yeah, it, th that's the problem. Then there'd be it'd be utter chaos. You'd have to still have some sort of system. Yeah, it's the you, air oh, traffic absolutely. controller for uh, the yeah. drone bikes. Yeah, so you're like, hey, watch out! People running into like phone, like you uh, electric poles. lines. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, that'd be bad. Maybe they won't have electric lines in the future. <laughs> Just saying. That'd be nice. But it is I interesting. Think, yeah. It is very interesting in terms of. Well, that's the other thing. AI. Yes. So all of that will be incorporated into the drones and they will talk internally and we won't have to drive them. 
They will literally come and pick you up in buses and you'll have your own drones. But there'll be a system. There'll be an international system that guides all the drones in these pathways and whatnot like that. And that's how we'll get from place to place. Cool. Okay. I can't wait. (laughs) I can't can't wait. (laughs) I mean, that's the the beginning of what Tesla is doing with all their cars and being able to recognize and and be able to path all that out. That's the beginning of that technology. It's just going to expand to a point where there's going to be a brain and that brain is going to be able to direct all traffic and be able to take care of everything. And we won't have to worry about accidents we'll anymore. Be dumber than we are now. We'll be on the Wally ship. <laughs> the Wally well, we ship. will. Yes. Yeah. But again, if I keep eating, I'm definitely going to be on the Wally <laughs> ship. This is, I'm on a, I'm on a, a crash course with destiny with this one. Yeah. I mean, I'm on the, I'm on the mindset of, We're, yes, that is our, getting ready to hibernate. that is our it's destiny. Fall. Yes but we have some control over how much of that is going to be in our hands and not. I mean, it's, again, even if there are drones in the air, I can absolutely guarantee you there's someone going to be on the ground driving an F-150 and he's got the gasoline, but there's not going to be a whole lot of gasoline stations anymore. And it's going to be a relic, but it'll still be there. Right. So I, I think there's, yes, it'll become homogenized and we will all become dumber, but not really because that's going to give us more time to do what we really want to do. I don't want to drive for two hours. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly right. I am going to use my lack of drive time to figure out how to infect myself with tapeworm. I'm winning it with the tapeworm diet. We got to come up with a better name than tapeworm diet though. (laughs) Yeah. What was the, oh no. Never mind. I was I was about to say, what was the worm? You know, the cute little worm from Sesame Street, but his name was Slimy. That's not a good. That's not a uh, good name oh, for it either. No. Lowly, <laughs> lowly, lowly's the other one. Oh, lowly, yeah, yeah he's from the, uh, Richard Scarry. He's from Richard yeah. Scarry, yeah. yeah, yeah. Still not a good, not a good diet. <laughs> no, no, Slimy lowly. and lowly are not good <laughs> diet and terms. Lowly. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> true. Kids love it. This is true. Yeah. Let's see, parasite. <sighs> Someone's gonna steal my idea now. Now that I've yeah. spilled the beans. Yeah. Now that I've spilled the tapeworm. That's right. Someone's stealing my idea. Somebody's working on it right now. Okay. So we've got drones and we've got tapeworms. What else have you got for us? What, what else um, well, serious? that's all the real science I oh, have. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all the really hardcore, <laughs> serious science. I mean, do you guys have any questions about science? Um, I might be able to answer them. I seem to be on top of things. <laughs> I should say so. I'm trying, to think, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've seen lately. Or is there anything that you like think that needs to be invented? Oh, I'll call Or that your yeah. surprise didn't catch on? Oh, geez. Do you know what needs to be invented is Deep thoughts. Is something I've thought about this and I've kind of I've experimented, but Ooh. it needs to be something um to put like people's sweaty gym clothes in that separates them from the rest of the laundry that like stink proof. Oh. Yeah, because it's a problem at my house. <laughs> it's my husband. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> So I tried like a compost bin and putting mm-hmm. like a little filter on top. That was my. Oh, did it uh, work? Um, yeah. It was better, but I it needs to be better than that. It like needs some kind of filter and it needs to. Yeah. Because I walk in the laundry room and if I'm like, oh. Well, you know, there's that. Smells. <laughs> so I know you guys don't watch a lot of TV, but there's a product called Poof. What's that? P-O-O-F. I tell, do and tell. And it's a natural um, odor eliminator. It doesn't cover up the odors. Apparently, it actually. I mean, this oh. is this is an information. Okay. To the molecules, right? It breaks and, them yeah. apart. All right, right. I'm, in. I'm in. Give me so some, maybe you need like you need I'm, like a poof bag. I need a poof bag. Okay, I'm gonna maybe, maybe I'll can, try the poof. Maybe you can um, um, hook up with the poof guy. Yeah, yeah. and For make a poof bag, a poof, like a poof product. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to text myself to poof. look into the poof. P-O-O-F. I don't P-O-O-F. know if it really works. I've never tried it. Okay. I'm going to text. I just text myself poof. And tomorrow I'm going to be like, what in the hell? Oh, it's, oh I accidentally wrote poor. Because I <laughs> The poor bag. <laughs> the, well, the poor poof It is a poor bag, bag if it's filled it's with. A poor, a poor bag bag. filled with sweaty clothes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah. the guy on the infomercial, he squirts himself in the face with it. So apparently it's not harmful. <laughs> and he didn't wow. go blind. Yeah, he did not mind. <laughs> At didn't least scream. as of yet. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, give like, it time. That was yeah. terrible. Let these things set in. 
Oof. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good shot. See, look yeah. at me with a science okay. answer. All right. Yes. All right. All right. Come on. Come yes. on. Come on. Come on. I don't know. I'm trying to what think if there's anything. What other problems do you need to solve? Do you have a problem you need to solve, Aaron? Um, with science? <laughs> with science? <laughs> with my science? Now I wish I had Simon and Garfunkel going, going, Sounds of Science. <laughs> oh, Sam could have picked that science. song. Science of Silence. No. <laughs> but it would be. Silence, not Science of Silence. Yes. Science. No, no. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Science, silence. Um, you can't silence the science. <laughs> we might need to move on. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know of anything. You don't have any problems to be solved with science. No, 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 no. no. His life is. He's he's doing pretty well. You don't want like a dog communicator. I I want a dog communicator. Squirrel. No. 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 My dogs communicate pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, animals do a pretty good Oh, I mean, you know what they need to invent? Actually, with science, is um, speaking of animals. Not with a, I don't know, right? I'm, he keeps doing that. <laughs> Aaron's making all kinds I of these ideas. I know, anyway. Like, but it is a question, though. Okay. So um, when you brush your dog or your cat, yeah. and the fur flies everywhere. Uh, yeah. So, so a fur I, catcher? A fur catcher. So I have even, like, I... I have a doggy vacuum mm. and Lola can do that, but my cat would freak out. So it has to be quiet. Uh, has to be quiet. And cause you say, so I brush the cat and she's super fluffy and there's like clouds of fur, like go you, floating down the hallway. That could be solved with static electricity quietly. Somehow. With science. With, it could be solved with science. <laughs> okay. All right. So we need to get right on that. It's the static electricity cat brush. Yeah. So how do you do it? You like rub a dryer sheet well, on a I'm, cat brush? I, I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm not a scientist. I'm just saying. But that's, I bet yes. science can solve that. I bet. Okay. That's all Any I'm scientists. I'm sure there's lots of scientists listening to us. I'm just an idea guy. Yeah. You know? I mean, anyway. I don't actually do the science. I just think the science up and but someone else can do to. it. That's somebody right. has to be the someone idea person. Someone can do static. It doesn't matter. Make sense. Think about it. Like if you took a balloon, if you're look, yeah. if you were brushing your cat oh, and it, you took a balloon and rubbed, and it, rubbed on the, it and then held it, it over the, the cat. Where would the hair you, go? Where would the hair go? On the balloon. Okay. I'm going to have to try it. Right? All right. See, we might have I'm to. solving things with science. Hmm. Somehow we have to have, I mean, there's a better way of doing it, but I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. As long as the cat is like not freaked out, there's a balloon over her head, but. True. That might also be. <laughs> Weird for her. So you had a question, Aaron. I'm thinking of this contraption that is like, you know, a big balloon around a cat, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Put the cat in the balloon? But maybe put the cat in the balloon. <laughs> that, have you have you ever tried to put a cat in, in any carrier? Yeah. yeah I was gonna yeah. say put the cat, cat in, in the, the balloon the... might be an issue. Right. Cats I'm just saying cats <laughs> are lots of great things, but not always so cooperative. Cat yeah. in the plastic pretty bubble. independent. <laughs> like at the boy in the plastic bubble. Wouldn't that be cool though? Seriously? No, no, no. This would be so freaking cool. If you had like the plastic bubble, like the boy in the plastic bubble. So it was a big bubble. Let's say a bubble the size of our table. <sighs> okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Like All a right. carrier size bubble. Okay. And you just stuck the cat in there. And then you pressed a button and it, the, the static electricity just sucked, sucked all the all hair out, out. off oh, that would to be the good. side, all the loose hair to the side of the capsule. And then you cat can pull the out. cat out. And then you click can, a button and static yeah. electricity comes up. And it all falls down. Dude. I'm an right. inventor of the century. <laughs> that is, that was a very creative idea. Science. 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 <laughs> it can be done with science. It's all science. Right. So there's you're blinding you, me with so science. I got a couple <gasps> yeah. moments. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He's all have excited. you seen? Have you? Uh, I've seen this a couple times. There's this I don't know, hill somewhere where they've made these mounds going down the mountain, and it like curves whatnot like that. Okay. And at the top of the mountain, they have this big plastic ball, one of those ones that you get into, right? And it rolls. Yeah. Does it roll down the mountain? Roll down the mountain, but. There are 15 participants in front running down the, the hill. Running away down, from the away ball. From tr- kind of like the Indiana Jones ball, yes. but only there's screaming people but running down the mountain. Ball. It's like pl- not hard plastic. Oh. One of those, those like 
Oh, uh, like those, like, like those beach ball, um, beach ball yeah. type things. The people yeah. get into them. Yeah, like, like one those, those bubble really soccer, freaking huge like, ones. Not uh, one of the ones that you get in and you like. You can right. see people in gyms and they run up to each other, and they bounce and they bounce away. Right, right, right. That looks fun. One to of me. these huge ones, like a good twelve feet tall, and you get inside it. Two or maybe three people can get inside. Aren't them. you like? Like wait, but you knocking heads. Yeah, you're inside. spinning around and you're tossing and turning and whatnot like that. Are and there handles are on the inside maybe, so that you're not getting a head know. injury See, with the no, other people inside to, the ball? That has to. They need to put like a gyroscope on the inside so you stay oh, upright. Oh right, right, right. And then the thing <laughs> rolls, but you're upright because I couldn't. Ha- I'd be like barfing within two yeah. seconds. It'd it be all over the inside of the ball. Hilarious <laughs> seeing these people run down the mountain getting plowed over. So where this is pl- this? I don't know. I've seen it quite a few times okay, coming across you, my room. As soon as next time I'll send it to you. Guys. Send it, it is to us and we're gonna funny look it up. all get out because people are like running for their lives. I mean it's all in good fun, but right. they are running for their lives and they're that's like a wacky <laughs> type of event like something we would invent. And they're all laughing. It's funny. <laughs> I don't see that catching on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it's specific to this park, but it that's is That's going to go the way of the segue. I feel like that's a lawsuit <laughs> waiting to happen. <laughs> right, right. And the other thing that I was, um, my father, I don't know where this came from, but I actually I do. There is an app called uh, 54321. It is called. Oh, I thought that's what it was called. Merlin Bird ID. Merlin, M-E-R-L-I-N. Like the wizard. Bird ID? Bird ID. And I came across this app because I heard it on a podcast when he mentioned it one night. I was like, that sounds interesting. But you download the app and it has a recorder and you can hit record and it records all the birds in your area. Oh, and it tells you what they are? And it'll identify their calls and then it'll list them all in your area. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, and oh I thought it was like the... you took a picture of the bird and it would tell you. No, 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 no. Oh. You just hit record and it records and then all these birds come up and then you can click on the bird and then it'll tell you all the different calls that bird actually has. It's really cool. Birds have more than one call? So, yes, they do. I they did have not many calls. know this. I you just never it, really science. came up. This science. Is, this is this is <laughs> like biology. We're getting into yeah. biology, yeah. <laughs> but, zoology. But it's a zoology. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The night of science. Okay. So yes. I obviously mentioned this to my dad and he's like, oh, I'll download it. And he plays with it one like that. But the question then became, he asked me and I said, well, that's a rather inter- interesting question, dad. Um, do you think birds understand each other or are their calls like French and Spanish? Oh, and, good. Oh, that's oh, a good oh, question. That's an interesting question. Right. No, uh-huh. I'm sorry. I don't speak goldfinch. Yeah. Well, I would think, see, I would think this, I would think most smaller birds probably recognize a hawk or a bird of prey. Oh, right. Sound. Mm. Right. Like, I don't get know out if they here. know what they're saying, but they probably know, that's yeah. not a guy I'm like, going to hang with today. <laughs> I'm going to fly away. I'm going to get away from that sound. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know if it's like, if if it's like a love call, because right. you know, you know, cardinals have like a bazillion different yes. calls. Mm-hmm. They do. I never know. Oh, they do. You know the ones when they when you if you ever were out walking your dogs. Yeah. And you know the one that goes. <laughs> oh, science. Here we go. Here call. we go. <laughs> This is my bird this call. Is, Are you ready? I'm oh, ready. I wish I had a drum roll. I'm, I'm racing I wish myself. I had a drum with the anticipation. No, no, but the one that goes chickapoo, chickapoo. Oh, whip, yeah, whip, yeah, whip. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> chickapoo, chickapoo, whip, whip, whip. Yeah. That's a cardinal. That sounds like a cheer or something. <laughs> but you know yeah. what I'm talking I about. Know okay. exactly, yeah. yeah. Right? And But they have other calls than that. But if you if you hear a cardinal do that and you start going chickapoo, whip, 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 they go on. They, they really? Get like I'm going to try it. Yeah. Okay, we can have a little conversation. I mean, I'm sure they're not saying chickapoo, but <laughs> <laughs> that they, but they, but it's like maybe me, the accent isn't right, quite right, but yeah. they're getting the they're gist getting of the it. Gist of it, yeah. Okay, yeah. but I don't know. That's a good question. They're like your pronunciation's a bit off. But <laughs> I, I give you. Kudos. I'm sure they're I thinking the same thing. I give you kudos for trying, <laughs> right? Kind of like. <laughs> if they had little bird hands, <laughs> right. they'd be like, "Good right. try, good try." <laughs> That's the last thing. The bird's probably like, what the hell? <laughs> Shut up, woman. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get a mate here. What are you <laughs> right, doing? Right, you're totally messing with Stupid my humans. mojo. <laughs> you're 
Woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now I'm feeling just insecure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh anyhow. So yeah, I thought that was an interesting question. That is an interesting question. It is. Well, same with dogs. Like you know. Yeah. Do they all? I mean, is a bark a bark? Is I a bark saw a bark. I saw kind of a mean thing to do to a dog today on the internet, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> um, it was okay. a Halloween costume, and it was like it said, you know, um, choose a costume to suit your dog's talents and it was a husky and it was he was dressed as a white husky and he was dressed as an ambulance and he had like flashing <laughs> red lights on the top and then um he started howling <laughs> so oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> that's good yeah it was that's pretty, pretty good yeah i thought it was i could show you i could show you i can show you these are things on we my can phone see. yeah <laughs> you'll really enjoy that maybe later maybe later okay <laughs> I'll send it. I'll text it. You can yeah, send yeah. it. We got a lot of things to <laughs> yeah. send. Yes. It's uh-huh. worth a share. Yeah. It is worth a share. Yeah. Oh, so we did, uh, speaking of sharing, we got a very nice uh, email. Oh, we did. You've got mail. We've got mail. Yay. Yay. From Kirsten. Yay. But not um, the other Kirsten. The other. Parker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kirsten uh, the third. Kirsten the third. Yeah. Okay. So. Hi, set list crew. Let. Christine know that we didn't have a senior sunrise or sunset for that matter day. We did have a yearbook day, which I vaguely recall was going to the gym, getting a yearbook and then wandering around the school the rest of the day. Guess that was whoa, 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 whoa. hold. Do you on. need some? Do you need my glasses? <laughs> do you like us to read? Do you like some readers? It's getting harder and harder to I got read. Some I don't read, like read, this. Green readers that'll really make oh, your no. make your life easier. Guess that is what we did pre cell phones. I don't think any pancakes were demanded or consumed. <laughs> That's a good thing. Aaron totally has to try the uh, float tank one of these days, given his ability to hang in a flying state while falling asleep. I did find that interesting. I was thinking yeah, that. We I talked too. about that before. We did I wonder what the scientific explanation we talked about Science. The science. We talked about the float tank before, but I hadn't, until you talked about the way you kind of yeah. do yeah. that, that might be a cool experience yeah. for you. Yeah. Or yeah, it actually. could be absolutely terrifying. One of the two. Right. No, I... I, I <laughs> It is weird. It is such a weird spot to be in. I really I've never had done that. It is very strange. It is very strange because you do. You feel yourself. I can. I. I feel like I am fifty feet above myself, watching myself. Are you sure you didn't have a near death experience? No, it happens quite often. I can um, actually get to that point very often, and it's a rising feeling, and I just kind of sit there and I stay up there. The first time was the flying dreams when I had when I was a kid. I was like, I fly in my dreams. I'm not really flying. It's just that interstate between falling asleep and being awake. It's the purgatory and I of pull sleep. Up and that's that feeling. It's that high feeling. Right, right, it's very right. Very strange. I don't float, but I fall. I fall. Yeah, and then I, yeah, like, and then I literally then, jump. Yeah, then I start. So myself. that, yeah, I've done that. I've heard that's from when humans used to sleep in trees and whatnot to stay away from animals. And that's just a reflex a reflex from falling in that feeling of falling out of trees. Yeah. I, f- I definitely fall yeah. and, I, and I completely jump. Like yeah. I, I'm hitting, I'm oh, just yeah. as I'm about to hit the ground yep. and I jump and I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I've, I've fallen, yeah. but I've never, I've fallen, but I've never floated. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's be a certain. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay. Keep going. Um, <laughs> Listeners, let us know if, if you fall or you float. Yeah. Faller. Are you a faller or Let's a take floater? Take a survey. <laughs> Or it sounds like something above. in a toilet, but go ahead. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you follow or float? Are you a follower or a floater? <laughs> well, depends on the day. It depends personal. on, you know, depends on if I've had corn. <laughs> 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 if you ever are in Chapel Hill, let me know, and you can uh, use one of my credits at my place down here. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I think it would be kind of interesting. I'll have to try that out. Um, I... I'd like to suggest that Leslie add an entry to the band name list. Oh, I, mm-hmm. I like this. I like this. Papa Taka Wo. <laughs> Pronounced Papa, Papa Taka Wo. Papa Taka Wo. Which makes Papa sense because it combines everything. True, true. Indeed, sounds like indeed. a bird language. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Tomorrow we're going to go out and try it on the birds. 
If the birds like it, it's on the list. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're going to be a viral hit is what's going to happen. <laughs> Look at this lady. <laughs> <laughs> talking to the birds for all the wrong birds. reasons i'm just trying to get ideas for band names from the birds yeah, that's not that's unreasonable right. yeah. uh i'd like to suggest i did it papa dog well kirsten i totally hear you on the back to school cleaning routine mm -hmm. same Thank thing here you. you definitely popped nines on Thank cleaning you. the two-story ceiling fan glad someone noticed yeah. <laughs> Even though Thank I'd like you, to Kirsten. climb, fa even though I like to climb fabric twenty feet in the air for fun, I hate ladders, and I am a total chicken. All the gold stars for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're like the only one who's noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the laughs, especially the B O T B Beaver on the porch. Oh yeah. Definitely needed that while listening on my walk. This is the first year that I don't have a kid going back to school, oldest graduated law, law school, and the youngest graduated undergrad in May. Even though I've been an empty nester, there has been some level of back to school anticipation for the past 20 years. This was the first time in a long time that our family didn't have someone starting a year. And it made me a little sad. Yeah, I could see yeah, that. You're right. Yeah. It's definitely. I mean, because yeah. you I mean even. End of an era. You, uh, it's more than 20 years because you yes. figure you yourself did that. Right. For your so whole, many yes. years. Yeah. Right? Then you got a little break. And then you, and then you start having it. It's like, you yeah. know, it's a thing that everybody gets used to, like fall being a, a, yeah. a, a new start or yeah. a new. But, and then yeah. suddenly when you don't have that, that's got to feel really yeah. weird. That yeah. does have to. Yeah. Yeah. And I for me, like fall is a bigger fresh start than new year's. I'm like, new year's is like, eh, eh. Yeah. yeah, you know, could yeah. be, could be anything, but yeah, it's tapeworm time for <laughs> new year's <laughs> <laughs> fall. Not so much. I mean, well for me, yes, well, but not for everyone, but falls yes. for, falls, you know, <laughs> you're hibernating and falls fluffing up for winter. That's, yeah. that's what that's going on. And she ends with, Science, a, I appreciate the chuckles while listening to you all have a great week. Best. Kirsten. Aw, you have a great week too, You Kirsten. have a great yeah. week. Yeah, yeah we you. enjoyed hearing from you. Thank you. Oh yeah, uh, Lance also texted me. Uh, he said he almost wrecked his car when we were talking. Oh no. <laughs> when we were talking about uh, games and I said sequence and you were like, sequence? sequence? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's a game with a glue gun and a blouse. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that was rather humorous and he texted me. So, I could see so, why. <laughs> so you all know Susan. So I got a text from Susan the other day and she's, and our, our friend Stephanie sent us a video of how she makes her homemade hummus. And um, I haven't tried it, but Susan tried it and she's like, I'm going to make it for game night. And then game night was at a Tuesday. And I was like, what, what game was on Tuesday? Right. Like I was thinking like, okay, preseason, you know, football, this is what I'm thinking of game night. But, but she was playing sequence. She was playing sequence. Yes. And I was like, uh, I just heard about sequence. It's a good game. So anyway, yeah. That. So it's apparently, it's a thing. It's, you it know, that people have game thing. nights and play sequence. So Leslie wasn't lying to I was yeah. oh, well, I know. Good. Right. Well, I mean, it's Tell a thing. I, like a sweeping the nation kind of thing. Not just like a. Right. Yeah. Like the tapeworm. <laughs> yeah. It's going to sweep the nation. Right. Right. I, li I, I feel it in my bones. Mm. Okay, or right. in my gut. You, you try it first. You first. I will. I'll try it first. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. New Year's resolution. I'm going to get through five tapeworms this year. Can you imagine like going to your doctor and being like, can I have that pill that you take to get rid of tapeworm? He's like, why do you have a tapeworm? I'm like, not yet. I'm about to. I'm just, I'm just preparing. preparing. I just want to be ready. Right. To get rid of it when I need to. I mean, are there any bad side effects to a tapeworm? It just doesn't it's, seem I mean, like the best idea. I think, me. I do think there probably are species of tapeworms that will like get into other organs. Like, well, like the, like Perhaps. the brain worms. The brain. Yeah. The, they go into the brain. I wouldn't, I don't know. But I'm not saying we're living with this for like a no, long no, no, time. No, 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 You Five you just days want it. max. Five days. Like you know, you want to do it thing. <laughs> It's a tapeworm cleanse. It's a tapeworm cleanse. You did mung beans for five days. Yes. So I did do mung beans, but that's, I don't I know. I could do a tapeworm for wow. five days. I just do pretty extreme <laughs> things, but I don't know. Wow. Mung beans were not All right, great. I'm going to get off that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm driven the tapeworm into the ground. Now. I'm sure there's a few of our <laughs> listeners like, Ugh. Right, I got it. Ugh. Oh, if Christine was there, she'd be like, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Yes. stop talking about that. Yeah. Poor Christine, if she's yeah. listening. She's, she's not listening. She's not listening. 
There's no Say what way you will. Christine is All right. listening. <laughs> Christine, I was trying to stick up for you. But, oh, well. Oh, that's that's too funny. Sale. Too yeah. funny. Yeah. All right. All right. So what, right. what kind of game did you bring? All right. Well, I brought the game we played once before. Uh, oh, is it the, with the... Um, but I have two games. Okay. She's got a bag of games. I got a bag, bag of games. I have two games. I have the worst case scenario game, which I always thought was fun because... I think it's funny how different we are dealing with our oh. worst oh, case scenario. Oh, yeah, right. So oh, yeah, we could always lesson. revisit that one just okay. with new questions. Okay, okay. okay cool. Um, so that's one. But then, <laughs> this, this is so a stupid. little cute little this, box. This one's really stupid. It's just beer trivia. Okay, just beer trivia. I'd okay. probably be terrible at that. I don't know but that I much about beer. But I think we'd all be equally terrible at it, which okay. is why I think it would be a fair game to play. Although, all right. Aaron, how are you with beer? You went to Zeno's. You uh, probably yes. know a few beers. I may be. I don't know. Like, I am not a I, I, I beer I have no idea what this is. I Me mean, neither. Okay, just let's, let's, should we try a couple let's questions? Let's, I was just say, say, let's, let's just try, try three a cards. Taste. We'll let's try, try a taste. A taste of the beer. A beer uh-huh. taste. Yeah, a beer cover. Tasting. A flight, if you will. A, a flight. flight of a flight of the beer. Mm. A flight of, oh, of course it's tape shut. Yeah. Clearly no one's ever played this in my family. <laughs> yeah. It's been the sitting around. Aren't sitting around playing beer no, trivia. I was like, I don't even know where it came from. All right. I need glasses. I got my beer trivia. So how does this oh. work? Well, we'll all ask. Yeah. We'll, we'll just all take ask a card question. and find out. Okay. And I actually know the answer to this one oh. as I'm looking at it. Okay. All right. It says, "A shandy consists of what additional ingredient besides beer?" Seven Up. Would you like? A, would you like a options? Ingredient? Oh, ingredient. Oh, Citrus. Seven Up. It's not Seven Up. Would you like options, or do you just want to guess? Uh, I just. I can guessed. give you an A, B, C, or D. Okay, give us ABC. Is that part of the game? It could be. (laughs) I'm making this up. (laughs) All right. So a shandy consists of what additional ingredient besides beer? Okay. Is it A, cola, B, orange juice, C, sparkling water, or D, lemonade? Lemonade. It is. It's lemonade. It's lemony. I thought it was shandy. Yeah. Yeah. Very refreshing. The first time I ever had a shandy shandy. was I thought... It tastes like there's Sprite in this beer or 7-Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're but, good. Okay. Yeah, it actually is pretty good. Okay. All right, you read All right, one. I'm going to read one. Okay. See what we know glasses. more about beer. Mm. Science. Oh, wow. Science. Science. <laughs> I like science it. Science of beer. <laughs> science of beer. What beer is typically the darkest? Oh, Guinness, right? A stout? Uh, or is it porter? It's a stout. Oh, it's a stout. Look at but you. is Guinness a stout? I believe I so. I guess it is a stout. Mm-hmm. So yes. I think you're both right. So, yeah, the, yes, I went name I brand. Didn't even he read went the choices. Actual. He went actual yeah, I beer. I would have said um, Guinness too, but but it's a stout. So it is a stout. We were both right. All right, Aaron. It's the only stout I've ever tried. Pull in from the front. Pull in the back. Yep. Pull from the front. Put in the back. Which ingredient is not used to make beer? Okay. Okay. So what are our choices. Which ingredient is not used to make beer? Okay. Yeast, mm-hmm. hops, mm-hmm. water, mm. alcohol. 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 That was easy. This yeah. is so easy These beer are questions. So easy. I thought they would be so much. Okay, one more round because now I'm All right, one more round and then we'll switch games. Yeah. Because it's a little too right. easy. Okay, well, so this one's not easy. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Uh, yeah, exactly. A beer milkshake appears in the book Cannery Row. By which famous author? Ernest Hemingway, John Steinbeck, Jack Kerouac, or Ralph Waldo Emerson? Who John, wrote John Steinbeck. Steinbeck? Who wrote Cannery Row? John Steinbeck. There's nothing to do with beer. You're right. It's John Steinbeck. I was just a lucky guess. I, I never well, would have. I but would it felt Steinbeck. Right. Oh. 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 It was subliminally. Oh. It was coming to me. That okay. was probably why. You're right. Okay, we got to pay attention. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, I got to pay attention. Okay. Okay. Which beer claims to be the quote unquote champagne of beers? Oh, uh, Miller, High Life. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> because. Wow. Because. Um, <laughs> that was impressive. No, because when we go for Pop Up Eve, for some reason, my brother always buys Miller and beer. Always says and we're always like, be- oh, it's the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> see, that information came in handy someday. Said, and now, next time you see tra- them, you can be like, it's you know what? I got a funny drink story. Of Pop-up Eve. <laughs> it's a traditional drink of Pop Up Eve. The champagne. It's, it's the champagne. Suitable, right? It's the champagne. Some of Miller Light, if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> Not Miller Light, Miller oh, Highlight. Uh, Miller Highlight. Oops. Big yeah. difference. Sorry. The I difference. Mean, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Huge right. difference. Champagne and beers. Mm, champagne. Portland, Maine has the most breweries per capita. How many breweries per 50,000 people does it have? How many breweries per 50,000 people? A, 12. Hmm. B, 18. C, 24. D, 30. Ooh, this is tough. I'm yeah. going to say 24. It's like all math and stuff. This is not science. I know. I'm terrible at math, but I'm going to say 24 because it feels right. Because okay. it feels right. I'm going to go 18. Ding, ding, ding. 18 is Woo-hoo! the answer. Wow. Oh, excellent. Well, you know, just from, you know, game theory, you can't go with the lowest or the highest. It's yes, got to be one of the ones in the middle. Since you went with 24, I went with 20. Oh, gotcha. All right, let's keep going. Okay, <laughs> now it's kind of fun. Because now I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying yeah, the beer question. Me too. I didn't okay, think we'll I would. Like, we, we don't have to do a bunch of them, but we'll, we'll yeah. do a few more. We'll do a few okay. more. Oh, oh, a Budweiser Super Bowl commercial. So this is not good for Aaron. A Budweiser Super Bowl commercial famously featured what reptile? Was it A, a turtle, B, a frog, C, an alligator, or D, a lizard? Frog. It was a frog. It was? Oh, yeah. Oh, now I remember. Budweiser. Oh, that's right. It was the Budweiser one. There's three frogs frogs. in a swamp. But but a frog is not a reptile. It's an amphibian. Oh, science. Science. I was like, that's why I like it can't be right. (laughs) But you're right. You went went the science route and lost. Yeah. I think we should write these people up. Anyway, right. yeah, we got it. Well, this, this beer game is this beer game. They, must poor, have been, they were drinking science. while they wrote right. it. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Does not know an amphibian from a reptile. It's Just very disappointing. Budweiser. Come on now. All right. Okay. Oh, how many gallons are in a typical half barrel keg? A, 12. B, 13.75. C, 15.5 or D, 20. Okay, just because our empirical system is never even. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say 13.75. That's what I'm doing. B. <laughs> B. Now it's C, 15.5. Oh, 15. we knew 5. we knew it couldn't be. Right. Yeah, I know. No. You knew like it, an it even was number. Right. And it couldn't be the highest or the lowest. So huh. that, was a, that was a solid guess. But 15.5 gallons. That's what it says. In a half keg. In a half a keg. So uh, have you guys- Is that a pony keg? Is a pony keg half a keg? Do you guys know? Oh. uh, A pony? I don't think a pony's a half. I don't know. I know. Yeah. Is there a- Remember the beer ball? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) The little yellow, the amber colored ball. Yes. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Those were, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You want to say those are the times, and you're like, yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's, that's right. Times. Those were. But um, you guys know who Nate Bargatze is? No. He's a comedian. Okay. Yes, I know the name. He's very funny. Okay. Is this um, the one that you went to see in concert? I did see Nate Bargatze in concert. Okay. Yes, he was one of the ones I went to see in concert. I've seen quite a few comedians lately, but um, oh. he's one of the ones I went to see. And um, he does this. He did this Saturday Night Live skit where he's George Washington, and he's talking about. All right, now that we have our freedoms, we're going to start our own system of weights and measures. And he goes through the whole, it's hilarious. I won't even, it won't be funny if I say it. Right, right, right. But if anybody wants to look it up, it's Nate Bargatze, Saturday Night Live. I think it was just just this past season, but it's the George Washington skit. And it's, he's so funny because he's a very deadpan comedian. Like, like he's a a clean comedian, one, but he's very just sort of deadpan and dry. And and when he talks about, (laughs) All right. It's sort of like the science questions that I have for you guys. He's, he's be, they're asking him questions about weights and measures and it's hilarious. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Okay. okay. I digress. Is it your turn? I don't know. Is it your oh, turn? Oh yeah. It's your oh, turn. It's your yeah. turn. It's my yeah. turn. It's your yeah. turn. The question is. Yes. Dublin, Ireland's. <laughs> <laughs> Dublin, Ireland's. What? Hard water is well suited to making what type of beer? Oh, Guinness. Stout. Stout, yeah. Guinness. Okay. Yeah. Again, I go with the Guinness. Yeah. I was just in Dublin, and there's a certain way that you drink the Guinness. Word and mm-hmm. word. Yeah. To me, and it makes it taste better, and it tastes better there than here. Yes. It does. Stout. It yes. does. Yeah. It tastes better there than here. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, good Lord. Why do I get all the hard ones? Okay. What's the name of Russian River Brewing Company? Brewing Company. I know. Companies. I, I did that before. <laughs> I did the same thing. Or brewing. 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 Love. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> that was very good. That was very good. I've seen movie a lot. I know. Okay. Mowage. Okay. What's the name of the Russian River Brewing Company's cult favorite beer that at one point was ranked number eight in the world by Beer Advocate? There's actually a thing called Beer Advocate. Okay. I'm not a subscriber. Okay. So this is the name of the number eight ranked world famous beer. It was at Pliny the Elder. Was it called... Pliny the Younger. What the? Was it called Pliny for President? Or Pliny does it again? Clearly it was a Pliny. It w- apparently. <laughs> like P-L-I-N-Y. It's, Maybe it's, it's Pliny? Pliny? It's, yeah, Pliny. It's Pliny the Younger is like a Greek ancient, you know, somebody. Like, is that what you're going with? Pliny the Younger? But I feel like it's a play on that. Okay. So. I'd like to see. I don't know what was C. What, what was C what was plenty for president. Yeah, plenty, plenty for, for president. president. I'm going with it's that. Russian. Oh. oh, oh, it's Russian. <laughs> okay. yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's your no button? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go Pliny the. Oh no, no, not that one. Pliny the Elder. <sighs> You're going. Oh, you had it right the first time. I did. Yeah. Oh shoot. The younger. Plenty the younger. Huh. Yeah. Look at you bring in all the Greek. Know, yeah. Yeah. She's so smart. Wow. Yeah. Well, I just remember weird stuff. Okay. <laughs> but um, but I do remember, yeah. He was, yeah, Pliny the Younger. I think um, that had something to do with Pompeii, I think. Oh. Yeah. It could be Pliny, too. I don't know. I mm. think so. What do you, how do you pronounce P-L-I-N-Y? I think it's Pliny, but it could be Pliny. There's a band called Pliny, and it's P-L-I, P-L-I-N-I, Pliny. Oh, oh. that so sounds I, like. But with a Y, I don't know if it's. Like you said, Pliny, Pliny or I think that something about when um Pliny. Yeah, when the volcano <laughs> with um Pompeii, I think that he had something to do with that. Anyway. Oh. Like they discovered his writings or something. Oh. Anyway. Um, which ancient culture fermented and brewed beer before thirty five hundred BC? Okay. A China. B Mesopotamia. Oh, I'm sorry. C, oops, I'm reading the, at B, Egypt, C, Mesopotamia, or D, all of the above. Before 3500 BC. Yeah. Fermented and brewed before 3500 BC. China, Egypt, Mesopotamia, or all of the above. I'm going to go with all of the above. Yeah, I would pro. Yeah. All uh, the above. Excellent work, you guys. Thank all, you. It's all of the above. Yeah. Uh, so beer got a lot of people beer. through cholera. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They and, like, and the plagues, the plagues. And things like yeah, that. you had to drink the beer because all the, the people, water was bad. Right. Hmm. Yeah. In what century was the earliest known instance of using hops in beer? A, the ninth century. B, the twelfth century. C, the seventeenth century. D, the nineteenth century. This is A.D. Correct. I would assume. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I would, would assume. assume that's not notated here. Okay. I'm going ninth. You're going the ninth. What are they I again? Feel, the ninth? I feel like the what? it's already been around Nine, for a while. 9, 12, 12, 17, 19. Hops. I'm going to go. I'm going to go later. I'm going to go 17. Okay. 17. Wow. Oh, boo. Nine. Oh, it was nine. Oh. Oh, nice. oh, I, thought, oh, I, yeah, like, I, I like I, the addition of the button. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right, because you, you always see, because you think like the Middle Ages, I already had it. So I figure it was earlier. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. I was, I was going, I was just, you know, going rogue. Devil's advocate yeah. kind of deal. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> One of my favorite beers is on this card. That's okay. what made, oh, I got oh, a little excited. Oh, like, what's, I did. Oh. What's so exciting? Which type of beer is Belgium not? Known for. Okay. Which is not a Belgian beer. Okay. A Saison, a Pilsner, a Lambic, or a Double? A Double or a Double? D U B B E L, a Double. I'm saying Double. Okay. But I've never heard of the what first one. What were they? A Saison or Saison. Yeah, yeah. A Pilsner, a Lambic, 
or a double? Saison. <gasps> it was a pilsner. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Really? Uh, seriously, yeah. the pilsner is the only one I thought that would be. No. Interesting. Wow. But I love me a lambic. Oh, yeah. Not, oh, I don't know what a lambic they're is. Like, they're so good. You can get really? at the grocery stores. They okay. come in a little bottle about yay big, about, I don't know, six Yeah, they're teeny tall, tiny. And they're a little bottle. And you, uh, Frambois is a really good one. Yes. Um, but okay. they're very they're fruity. fruity. Okay. But- Boy, do they go down smooth. They're really, really lambic. nice. Okay. Lambic. Give All it a right. give I'm it a try. try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Never heard of it. I'm learning yeah. something new tonight. Framboise is my favorite. Yes, Framboise. mine as well. So I used to get them down at Zeno's. Yes. <laughs> they're so good. Okay. <laughs> what is the fermentation practice of letting ancient microorganisms inoculate sugar in beer called? Tapeworm. Science. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, neither of those are on this. Oh, oh, the sorry. oh. Read the question again. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> what is the fermentation practice of letting ambient microorganisms inoculate sugar in beer called? Okay. All right. What are my options? A, malolactic. B, spontaneous. C, acetic acid. Or D, random. Ooh, science question. Science. Malolactic, science. malolactic, spontaneous, acetic acid, or random. And read the very first part of the question. What is the, it's kind of a long, it's kind of, yeah, it's hard yeah, to I wrap just went, What's, what's the very, a process called? What right. is the fermentation practice? The fermentation of, practice. Practice of letting ambient microorganisms inoculate sugar in beer. Fermentation. That's what I would have said, but um, yes. but that's not a choice. It's malolactic, spontaneous, acetic acid, or random. I'm going to go malolactic. I'm gonna, Although that has something to do with milk. No, I take that back. Oh, I'm going acidic acid. Yeah, I'm going acidic acid. Although it's I want to say random. It's spontaneous. Oh. oh. Wow. Who knew? That, Who was knew? A, that was a toughie. A scientist knew. It's a scientist, a beer scientist. Yeah. Uh, the the more you know. Fermentation expert. <laughs> Look at that. It's such an educational (laughs) endeavor. (sighs) All right. But wait, there's more. (laughs) More than 75% of hops, all hops grown in the United States are from which state? (gasps) Oh, I have a guess. More than 75%. I think I know this, but go ahead. Give us the state options. Yeah. A, Washington. B, California. C, Maryland. D, Iowa. What? Oh, oh, that's not, that's not that the state. Not, that wasn't the state. What are those I actually again? know a guy who grows hops here in Virginia. That's why I was like, if Virginia is an option, I'm going to pick that one. <laughs> okay, what are our options again? So it's Maryland? Washington, California, Maryland, and Iowa. Okay, let's think climate-wise. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't think California is more wine, and Washington would be more wine, too. Wet. Too. too wet for yeah. hops. I'm going to go Maryland. Yeah. And I feel like I grew up in Iowa and I feel like I would know this, but, um, okay. Maryland. Cause. Oh, what, what is, is it? it? Washington. Really? Really? Huh? 75% of I all hops so I comes have picked from Washington. Colorado, like golden Colorado. Mm. The Coors. Ooh, Cause the Colorado Kool-Aid. Yeah. That's what I, I was thinking it was going to be, but that when that wasn't a choice, I just, I had nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or, um, or Wisconsin because of like Milwaukee, old Milwaukee. Mm. Oh. I have never heard of this. So if oh, okay. anybody okay. gets this, right. I'd be very impressed. All right, audience. What cocktail often includes beer, lime, hot sauce, and clamato juice? Is it a Bloody Mary, a Mechelada, a Cubanita, or a Red Snapper? So it's oh. a cocktail that is beer, lime, hot sauce, and clamato. Clamato. You, you. Mm. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> exactly. Tomato, tomato, like tomato, to it clamato, was, clamato. It was stuck in my head. Okay, um. so is it a Bloody Mary, a Mechelada? A Cubanita or a Red Snapper? 
gosh. I've she, never heard of three of these, so. I mean, except for the beer, you could put Bloody Mary in a beer, but I don't think that that's... I'm going to go with Red Snapper. Okay. Because I just... I've never... I'm going with a Cubanita. No, it's the Michelada. No, Michelada. What is a Michelada? Hey, I mean, well, clearly Michelada. now we know what a Michelada is, yeah. but who's ever heard of that? Uh, not me. Not right, I. Write in if, you, if you've ever had a, if Michelada. You've had a Michelada. I was thinking, like, I've had the fancy Bloody Marys that, you know, because sometimes there's the Clamato juice in that. Maybe but. when we do our next cocktail or our next mixology class, hey, we can try we that can one. try the... Clum, yeah. I'm not really into spicy drinks, but okay, we'll try no, it. Yeah, yeah. Take one for the team. You know how people like the spicy margaritas these days? I like days? those. See, I don't. Oh, oh I like no. them. No, yeah. See, a lot of people do. Yeah. My, my niece jalapeno. loves them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, and apparently hers are very good, but I just, it's not, not refreshing. Thing. It's not refreshing. I wish we had Christine so good, here, though. but I'd like to, oh, oh, we'll ask her next week. We'll do a follow-up. Okay. But how are you, I'm breaking left field, you people. How are you on the spice? Oh, I like oh. spicy. Oh. How, what's the scale for you? Like, so oh. are you a spice? Oh, I finally it. watched. Because um, some people are like. I finally watched Hot, hot ones. ones. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. And it was so good. I mean, I just watched little clips of it. So I didn't really watch like a full episode. Such but a good show. Yeah. Yeah. JJ loves the hot ones. It's so good. <laughs> it's yeah. good. It is such a good show. It's so unique. They do their research. Always, the guests, no matter who they are, are always very impressed by the the process. You're like, this is cool, man. Yeah, this is actually it is cool. a good show. I do like that show. So, how are you on the spice scale? On the spice scale, I am. I like a medium spice. I like to enjoy. I like to feel a little heat, mm -hmm. but I like to enjoy it. I don't like it when I'm like, okay, I can't really eat this. This is really this is gonna you know, and I don't enjoy it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. But, but so I, I'm, I'm not one, like I'm, a, I'm a medium spice. I, I don't mind spice, but I just, I want to, I don't want to be like, I can't eat this or I'm drinking every other bite. I don't like that. I don't know about like that. Like the, um, when you watch the hot ones, like how I would do with the real, like the ghost peppers and things like that. The bomb. But I like a little bit of pain. Like I really? like, I liked, like, I like a, Great big hit of wasabi. Oh, like, see? Where, that's wow. my wife. Where it's a that's little my wife as well. She likes the heat. I'm like, yeah, and it makes I'm, me so I'm with happy. You. I'm, and I may not even be like some, like, even sometimes I'll take, she'll laugh at me. She's like, all I did is put pepper on there. I'm like, yeah, but it's freaking, it's all, I can feel it on my tongue. Like, I can feel that. See, yeah, I like a little discomfort. So, but I, I, there are, I mean, again, like, it depends on what the food is. It does like, depend if on it's the like, food If it's a salsa on a chip, oh, I yeah, love a salsa. I like a, a really hot, spicy salsa. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. And I like, I like the spicy, like, I like the spicy wings, but, but I've never had, like, the, you know, um, like the wings on that show, there was, there's probably a point where, yeah, you know, I have a, a little pain is good. A lot of pain is not an so good. old high school friend who replace, I, I guess this is safe to say, but he has replaced his drinking alcohol. He stopped drinking three years ago and mm -hmm. replaced it with eating spicy peppers. Oh, so now interesting. He's, it's probably good for him. He's eaten all of the ghost peppers and all that kind of stuff. But now apparently, and I'll look it up and I'll, I'll um, tell you exactly what it is here while we're talking. But there's some kind of candy or something out now that's supposed to be the hottest thing ever. It's like really? supposed Ooh. to be some kind of thing where it's a challenge again. It's always so about I the don't, challenge. That's yeah. like, I don't think I would enjoy that. Like it has to you know, be food. Right. Like. Food that tastes good. I'll see if I can find something it. that you're enjoying, yeah. not just not yeah. just the not pain. Just, yeah, right. I mean, right, I like right. a little pain. I like a little. Do you know when they had those um, really really hot tortilla chips? What were they called? Oh, the um, takis. I love the, those. So yeah. but th there was there was some like very special one that was like the hottest one, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> this was a couple years ago, and so, this is uh, in elementary school, and. Uh, some kid in JJ's class brought one to school oh, yeah. and he, and he took it out to the, you know, the playground. Cause that's, you know, that's right, where the, yeah. the mischief happened. So he had this whole group of kids, like they're all in a circle and they got this chip uh, and they were like, all right, who's going to try the chip? Well, apparently the wind blew. Oh no. <laughs> and the hot dust got in a bunch of kids. Eyes. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> That's bad. No, it actually ended up eating the chip, and oh all these kids were like gosh. crying. It's oh, crazy. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was kind of That's funny. funny. No one really got hurt. No one got hurt. 
that was just, you know, can you, I'm just picturing them like all huddled around this, yes. this chip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then hilarious. the wind picks up and they're like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> but they never do that again. Yeah. No, that kid got in trouble. So this is, this is his post. The toe of Satan. The toe, the toe of, of Satan. Satan. <laughs> okay. That's how, I don't think I would enjoy that. That's a not even a good band name. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just disturbing. It's disturbing. Is a nine million Scoville unit candy. Ugh. The toe of Satan. That is four times as hot as a Carolina Reaper pepper. Jeez. Eight to ten times as hot as a ghost pepper. And eighteen hundred times as hot as a jalapeno. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. That oh, sounds terrible. Oh. It's hotter than bear spray. Oh, jeez. The challenge is to keep it in your mouth for five minutes. Five what? minutes? Like five the seconds. world record, according to, according to my son, is 15 minutes and 30 seconds. And then did Whoa. they get violently ill? I did it for 20. Is it hot? Yes. Is it painful? Yes. Is it as bad as a reaper? It gets there. Uh, what's it like afterwards? More heat. And I feel kind of high. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Probably burn a hole through his stomach. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Okay, Very that, interesting. That's, yeah. No, thanks. There's spicy food and then there's that. that. Well, that's, that, that, that high is what Sean does on Hot Ones. They oh. When they start doing the bomb and the last two, there are definitely been some times when I, they're in a very euphoric state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can tell. It's like, wow, they're. There's somewhere else right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, well, maybe it's that's like why they like it. Or yeah. Not yeah. for me. Not for me. Wow. Yeah. And, what, and wasabi doesn't do that. <laughs> but it does clear up my sinuses. So that makes yeah. Me happy. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. To make the layers of a black and tan beer cocktail, what utensil do you need? A. A spoon. B. A spatula. C. A fork. Or D. A knife. Oh, I never thought black about it. Black and tan. It's a black and tan beer cocktail. Well, I know what a black and tan is because I do like a black and tan. But I didn't think they used a utensil. I thought they poured, let it sit. They poured the heavy beer first. You let it sit and you pour the lighter beer on. Yeah, but you got to pour the lighter beer onto something so it doesn't. I'm going to say spoon. (laughs) Yeah, spoon. Excellent work, you guys. Okay. It's, a, it's spoon. Spoon. Mm-hmm. Way mm-hmm. to go. All right. All right. All right, Aaron, last question. Okay. Right, yeah. Last beer question of the night. Last science question. Here we go. <laughs> when ordering ordering a boil maker, what spirit is typically served alongside your beer? A, tequila. B, gin. C, vodka. D, whiskey. So I'm thinking, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm thinking it's whiskey. I'm thinking it's whiskey, Because too. it's not a slow gin is it's not to get I'm gonna go whiskey. I'm going whiskey. Boilermaker. No. Oh yay! Oh, yay! <laughs> yeah. We had to end on a on a on a good on answer. A ding. On a ding. We ended on a ding. Yay! yay. Excellent place to Yeah, absolutely. See, learn wait, wait. about science, Hot the science of beer making. Woo! Woo! Wow, it has been a very sciencey night. Yes, I know, it has. right? I love it. I'm glad, I'm glad I picked that. One. I think we've learned a couple of things. I'm not right. sure exactly what they were, <laughs> but I think we learned something. And if tonight. anyone um, <laughs> tries the tapeworm, please write in. Or the or the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat. <laughs> the cat. The cat balloon. Mm-hmm. The cat balloon. Is Let us also. know the cat balloon. Where I don't have a cat, so <laughs> I can't try it out. Oh, well, you can come over to my house. <laughs> <laughs> like Kirsten tried out. She can let us know how it went. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Well, All right, thank too you. Fun. Yeah, yeah, this was too fun. I'm sorry uh, Christine wasn't here to enjoy it, but uh, I'm sure she'll be back next week. Indeed. Yep. We miss and, you, Christine. Uh, we should be back on track, people. I know we sort of had some. It's a summer. It's, it's a, a summer. summer. But, you know. Yeah, we're mostly around. But we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that happy note, thank you for joining us for the latest episode of the Set List of Life. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>